Hey guys, No Hits Jerome here with another video in my multiboxing tutorial series. Today we're going to be going over the different software options that you have for multiboxing in WoW, as well as the pros and cons for each. There are actually a lot of different programs that can be used to interact with multiple computers and WoW clients at the same time, including Input Director, Synergy, Share Mouse, and Key Clone. But there are two clear front runners for multiboxing. The far and away most popular options are IS Boxer, which is a paid program, and HotkeyNet, which is completely free. Let's talk about the pros and cons of IS Boxer versus HotkeyNet. Far and away, the biggest pro for HotkeyNet is that it is completely 100% free. I've talked to many people that are looking to get into multiboxing, but they're not ready to completely commit to IS Boxer's price tag. IS Boxer costs $15 per 90 days or $50 for a full year, but there is a free trial available for seven days as well. Let's get this out of the way. The most important feature for multiboxing is to have keyboard and mouse broadcasting, and both IS Boxer and HotkeyNet provide this feature. That being said, there are significant features that IS Boxer has that HotkeyNet lacks currently. Setup for IS Boxer is significantly easier than HotkeyNet, in my opinion, as there is a quick setup wizard that allows you to add all of your multiboxing tunes to a profile very quickly. By comparison, you're going to need to use text files to add characters in HotkeyNet, which in my opinion is just a little bit more confusing for initial setup. IS Boxer also contains a window layout wizard, which allows you to position your game clients exactly where you want them, which I found very useful for streaming. There are ways to customize your window layouts with HotkeyNet, but I found it significantly easier and more friendly to change my window layouts with IS Boxer. One massive advantage that IS Boxer has over HotkeyNet is its video FX feature, which allows you to essentially add portions of one WoW client on top of a different window. This allows for things like tanking with a warrior while healing yourself without ever having to switch windows. Video FX is an incredibly powerful feature that sets IS Boxer apart from HotkeyNet in my opinion. While HotkeyNet's biggest advantage is that it's a completely free program, IS Boxer's paid status actually means that there are dedicated support staff that will help you when you ever encounter an issue. There's a very active IS Boxer Discord and a relatively active forum as well where you can easily contact people if you have any issues. HotkeyNet's forums by comparison are essentially a ghost town and there are not going to be very many places you can turn if you encounter any issues. Both programs have excellent resources when you're first starting out, and I found IS Boxer's website to be very helpful, and it has a lot of different tutorials for different MMOs. I found their WoW tutorials to be very, very useful, and there are also a lot of video guides available as well. By comparison, I found HotkeyNet to have some excellent resources as well. There's a five minute multi-boxing setup guide by Fury Swipes available online, which I found to be very useful when first setting up HotkeyNet. Both programs have very useful resources when you're first starting out. One massive pro for IS Boxer is that it is consistently updated, and I found it to be updated very quickly after WoW patches whenever something gets broken. By comparison, HockeyNet's last update was in July of 2010. This means that IS Boxer is nearly a decade ahead in terms of features. Personally, I've been using IS Boxer and I'm extremely happy with it. Before I started this video series, I had not done a lot of research on other multiboxing software, and after completing my research, I can say that IS Boxer is still definitely the, the best choice for multiboxing. It contains all of the features that I'm looking for in multiboxing software, and the support and fast updates are just a cherry on top. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. I'll be covering in-depth setup and ideal classes for multiboxing in the next video. Thanks again, and I'll see you in Azeroth.